All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is our nine o'clock tea time. I'll be letting anyone else in if we get some stragglers in here. Hope everybody's feeling great today. Coach Ethan, it is a beautiful day to be up and be active. A little snow outside, beautiful winter day. There he is. How are we doing, Jonas? We have our special guest coach back with us, Coach Kristen White, the CrossFit extraordinaire. She'll be leading us in a lesson of balance today. Balance extremely, extremely important in the golf swing. So she'll be taking us to an awesome lesson through that. So without further ado, I will turn it over to Coach Kristen. Again, remember, put your, if you can, your Zoom camera on the uh, speaker view. So she's kind of big screen. Again, if you feel comfortable having your camera on, please do so. If not, that is okay. Um, if you want to chat and type something on the chat, I will respond if you have any questions or anything. So with that all being said, thank you all for getting up this morning. And let's get active, Coach Kristen. Great. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks again for joining today for a little bit of fun and fitness with a slight focus on some balance movements today. So we're going to do a similar format as we did last week, going to get ourselves warmed up, get our heart rate uh, higher, and then move on to a couple of little mini workouts. And within each of those, we're going to focus on some balance items uh, in there mixed in today. So um, similar to last week, we're going to start uh, with a couple of different movements. And you can just follow along and watch me if you can. And so we're going to start with our running in place again to get our bodies moving, heart rates jumping. So get moving. Move those arms. Get those knees up a little bit. Good. Now, start jumping up with one knee and get to the other knee. Get a little bit of air underneath you. One knee, then the other knee. Right knee, kind of like Super Mario, right? A couple more, good. Now we're gonna do some hand walkout push-ups. So we're gonna reach down and walk out and hold a plank position. And walk it back in and reach up nice and high. And we're gonna do five of these. So we're gonna come back down, touch your toes, walk out to a plank position. We'll hold it. And back in and reach up and let's lean to one side, breathe, lean to the other side, breathe and back down, holding in our plank. Back in and stand, reach up nice and tall. Extend those out, arms out to the side. Back up and fold over. This is number four, walk it out. Hold that plank. Walk it back in. Reach up nice and high. Let's lean to one side again. Lean to the other. One more. Walk it out. Nice straight body line. 
Good. And walk it back in. And running in place again. Good. Move those arms. Feel those heels, kick those buns. Good, and back to our knee kicks. One knee up and jump. Other knee. Good. Good, a couple more. Good, all right. We're gonna go back down and we're gonna do a couple of planks. But now I wanna experiment with a little bit of balance. So I want you to take your left arm and bring it out straight in front of you. Hold there if you can. And then stay with me here. I want you to reach your right leg back if you can. And hold, and everything back down, good. From here, right hand out in front of you if you can. And then try to lift your left foot off the ground. And back down, and rest, good, shake it out. Ooh, I'm breathing hard. Okay, let's try that again. So back into our plank. Left arm out in front. If this is as much as you can do, that's great. But if you wanna try to lift your right foot off the ground, try and do so. Even if it's just an inch, you'll really feel it. And back down, right arm out in front. And if you can, try to lift that left foot just slightly off the ground. Good, and rest. Whew. You're not moving, but you're breathing hard and your muscles are on fire, right? When you're doing that, so we'll try that one more time. Get into our plank position. Reach that left arm out in front of you. If you can, try to lift that right foot up just a little bit. And back down to plank. Reach that right arm, right hand out in front of you. And only if you can, if you want to, try to lift that left foot up just a little bit so that just your left hand and your right foot are touching the ground. And rest. Good job. Having good balance is hard, right? But it is important for the golf swing, just like flexibility as we talked about last week. So we are gonna do a workout right now that's gonna involve three different movements. And the first one we did last week, it is the burpee or the down and up. So I'll show you a couple. We start standing, we get our chest to the ground, and then you jump and touch overhead, down, touch my chest, back up. And again, if you need to step down more gently and step back up and stand, you may do that if that feels better for your body. So that's our first movement. Our second movement is gonna be a slow squat down and then jump. So I'll show you a couple. 
So slow squat down and jump. Slow squat down and jump. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And then our third movement is going to be uh, lying down uh, leg raise. So I'll show you that as well. Lying down, we're gonna raise our legs up to the sky and back down. That would be one and that would be two. So this is the rep scheme that we're gonna go with. And I'm gonna set the clock and we're gonna go for about 10 minutes. So the rep scheme is going to be 10, eight, six, four, two. So you'll do 10 burpees, 10 jump squats, and then 10 leg raise. Then you'll do eight burpees, eight jump squats, eight leg raise. Does that make sense? And then you'll go down to six reps of each movement, four and two. So I'll talk you through it, make sure everybody's on pace, certainly type a question or holler if you have an issue, but I'll set the clock. We'll see how, we can, uh, how far we can go in 10 minutes. So we're gonna start with the 10 burpees, the 10 jump squats, 10 leg raise, and then move down eight, six, four, two. Sound good? All right, so we're gonna start in about 10 seconds with our 10 burpees. Sound good? All righty. And I'll do it with you guys and talk you through it, all right? So starting with 10 burpees, three, two, one, go. Good. All right, I'm done my 10 burpees. I'm gonna move on to my 10 jump squats. So whenever you're ready, slow squat down and jump. Slow squat down, jump, 10 of these. Great, I've done my 10, and I'm gonna move on to my 10 leg raises. Down on the ground. Raise up and down. Try not to let your heels touch the ground at any point during your 10 reps. Good. All right, I just did my 10. Now I am back to eight burpees. So this is our round of eight. So whenever you're ready, let's get those eight burpees going. All righty, I'm done my eight burpees. I'm gonna move on to my eight jump squats. 
Slow squat down and jump. Slow squat down, jump. All right, whenever you're done eight, let's do our leg raises again. Eight of these, try to keep your heels off the ground the whole time. Heels to the sky and back down to the ground. Good, there's my eight. All right. We are to our round of six. So we're gonna do six burpees, go for it. Great job, great job. All right, six jump squats. Great. And once you're done those, we're going to go back to our six leg raises. Should be feeling that nice in your core right now. Great, so now what number are we on? We are on our round of four. Let's pop out four burpees, go for it. Great job, great job. And now four jump squats, go for it. Slow down and pop up, open those hips up at the top. Strengthen those hips. Good. And down for four leg raises once you're ready. Great job, great job. All righty, it's going fast now. This is our final round of two for each movement. So two burpees, go. Two jump squats, go. Slow lower and jump. Slow lower and jump. And leg raises. Last two. Great job. If you're still working on your few last reps, go for it. If you're done, awesome job. Let's grab a quick drink of water.
Sparkling water is my preferred. Great job. Woo. How's everybody feeling? I am perspiring and my heart rate is elevated and I'm feeling good. Great job, great job. All right. We're gonna work on some more um, balance items to strengthen and stabilize your body, which can only help your golf swing. So similar to last week, we're gonna go in rotations of 30 seconds. So it's gonna be 30 seconds of a movement and then resting, 30 seconds of another movement and then resting. So they're pretty simple, but holding for a long time, they might get a little bit more difficult than you think. So the first one is gonna be simply balancing on one leg. So I'm standing, I'm gonna lift one knee up and try to hold for 30 seconds. So that's gonna be one movement. Then we're gonna to switch to the other leg. So our next 30 second interval will be the other leg. Then we're gonna do a squat hold. So similar to the last movement, but we're gonna lower, lower, lower and stay here or as low as you can go for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do more plank holds, moving our arms up and down. So I will instruct you when to start and when to go. So we're gonna start first Balancing on our right leg in two, one, go. So lift that left knee up as high as you can. Arms out to the side. Good. I'm gonna challenge you now to slowly raise your arms up overhead. See if you can stay balanced. Good. Arms back down to your side and rest. Good job. Shake it out, shake it out. Next, we are going to go up onto our left leg and we're going to go in three, two, one. So now your right leg is up in the air. You can experiment if you want, have some fun. Try to maybe extend your leg all the way out. Maybe out to the side. Arms up, up, up. Really focus on your breathing and your core. I see some of you jumping, that's very talented. Good. I'm gonna bring my arms out in front of me. Just test different positions with your arms and your legs and see if you can stay balanced and rest. Good job. All right, our next one is gonna be our squat hold. And we'll go in three, two, one. As far down as you're comfortable with. We're gonna sit down in that squat. Try to stay on your heels if you can. And I want you to bring your arms out to the side if you can, if you're comfortable. Arms out in front of you. And now this is the hard one. Can you raise, 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 raise your arms and stay there, stay there. Good, and slowly stand and rest. Good job. All right, our next movement is going to be a plank hold. So let's get down into our plank position in three, two, one, go. And then I want you to bring your left hand, just like the warm up, out in front of you. 
Hold, hold, hold. And if you wanna try with your left hand out to raise your right toes a little bit off the ground. Good, and back down to plank. And then we're gonna raise our right hand in front of us. Hold, hold, hold. And only if you want to challenge yourself, try to raise that left foot off the ground just slightly. And rest. Great job. So we're gonna go through that one more time. So we'll start back at the top and balance on our right leg. Quick sit for me. Great, and three, two, one. Balancing on our right leg. It's easier to feel the balance and feel the floor if you don't have shoes on. So when you're working on balance techniques like this, if at all possible, I would take your shoes off and then your toes can kind of grip and grab the ground. I'm gonna extend my leg, maybe out to the side, arms up overhead. Make yourself a letter of the alphabet, get creative, hold, 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 and rest. Great job. Woo! Almost there, everyone, great job. All right, we are now gonna balance on our other side, our left leg or whatever the opposite leg is for you, and go. Good, arms out in front. Stay balanced. Focus, focus, set your core nice and tight, arms up overhead. Maybe try to kick that leg out in front of you. Leg out to the side, balance, balance. All right, here's one. We're gonna try to go into a flying bird position. Try to stay balanced. Oh, everybody looks so great. Your balance is great and rest. Good job. All right, I'm taking another quick sip. And our next one is a squat hold in three, two, one, and down. It's easier for me if my arms are out in front like this. Breathing, try to keep your heels on the ground if you can. Bring your arms out to your sides. Breathing, arms up overhead. This is the hardest one. And Slowly stand, great job. All righty, our last one is gonna be our plank hold with balance in about 10 seconds. In three, two, one, get into that plank. Lift that left arm out in front of you. And if you Want to try to raise your right foot up. Good. And back down. And right arm, right hand out in front of you. And if you want to try to raise that left foot just slightly off the ground. And rest. Great job, great job. So just a couple minutes of a cool down, if you would. Catch your breath, grab a sip, and we'll do some stretches. So 
I'm gonna walk my hands out and I'm gonna lower my hips down into what we call a cobra position and really breathe. Look up towards the sky. You should feel this in your lower back. Try to breathe and let your hips sink towards the ground. Couple of breaths here. Good. Now we'll get into what we call the down dog position. So your butt goes up towards the sky and your head moves through your arms a little bit and you should feel the stretch in your calves and your hamstrings. Breathe here for a couple of breaths. And back down into the cobra position. Breathing. Good. And back to down dog. So raise those that butt up. Feel the tension in your calves and hamstrings. Good, now in the plank, and I want you to bring your left foot up by your left hand into a bit of a lunge position. So you'll feel this hopefully deep in your hamstrings and up into your butt. And then I want you to take your left arm and raise it towards the sky. Or if you're doing this the opposite way, right leg up, right arm up, whichever way you're doing it. Look towards the sky, look at your hand, and back down. Good, back to plank. Bring your other leg forward up by your hand. Feel that stretch. And then for me, it's my right arm that I'm gonna bring up to the sky and look up at my hand and keep breathing. Good, and back to plank. Walk our hands in. We are going to stand up nice and tall. Arms up, up, up. And lean to the right side. Two breaths here. Lean to the left. Two breaths here. And fold over, touch your toes for me. We'll end here with five nice, big, deep breaths. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. Great job today. Thanks again for joining me. All right, yes, ladies and gentlemen, go to your camera, give a round of applause for Coach Kristen here. Thank you so much. I don't know about y'all, but I am breathing very heavy. I broke a sweat. It feels great. Great Saturday morning. Get up, get the blood flowing, get your heart pumping. And let's get ready to seize this day. Coach Christian, um, now I know you own a CrossFit gym and you also have some youth programs there. Obviously not right now with COVID and everything, but do you want to say anything about your gym? Sure. Um, so CrossFit is essentially just functional movements that are constantly changing, constantly varied and performed at whatever high intensity means for you. And at Friendship CrossFit up in Dublin, uh, we offer adults, kids, teens classes. So you can always check us out at friendshipcrossfit.com or friendshipfitness.com or just Google search for it and you'll find it. And you can reach out to somebody there if you're looking to, um, you know, try something new or gain more strength or flexibility or conditioning. Uh, we run the gamut in terms of what we can provide to you, and we have fun kids and teens group classes. 
um, that I think you would really enjoy. Um, and, you know, it's pretty much what I've been doing with you all for the past two weeks is functional movements that have been changing and, you know, you're getting your own intense workout, you know, whatever that means for you. So you've all been doing CrossFit already these last two weeks. Awesome. Thank you so much for everything. Um, Coach Christian will be back in a couple of weeks. We have a Orange Theory instruction from our great Miss Natalie here, and then we'll have a awesome yoga session the fourth week, and then Coach Christian will be back for the final two weeks to bring us home. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great week, and hopefully see everybody next Saturday. Thank you again, Coach Christian. Appreciate Alrighty. you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.